हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एल आई क्लासेस सो टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट अन ए टॉपिक सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स सो यू नो द मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज सेक्सुअल मोड एंड अनदर वन इज आर सेक्सुअल मोड सो सेक्सुअल मोड इज दैट द इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेक्सेज दैट इज बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट इफ द बोथ इफ द फ्यूजन अकॉर्स इन बिटवीन मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट दैन दैट टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इज कॉल्ड सेक्सुअल मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन okay the mode of reproduction which does not involve any type of sex then that is called asexual mode of reproduction so in plants both asexual and sexual mode of reproduction happening in plants but only sexual mode of reproduction is happening in angiospermic plant okay. do you know what is angiospermic plant this angiospermic plant this plant produce flowers and the plants which produce flowers and bear seeds in the food okay, then that type of plant is called angiospermic plant and in angiospermic plant the type of reproduction is sexual mode of reproduction so before we start uh, the topic let's come to the structure of a flower what is the structure of a flower and what are the different parts of flower okay so here first come to this is the starting part and this is called peduncle which holds a flower both uh, total flower okay then upper part of peduncle it is a solen part okay and that solen part is called thalamus so just above the peduncle there is a swollen part which is a basal barren portion and that swollen part is called thalamus and it is also called as receptacle it is also called as receptacle okay so let's come to floral holes floral hole means the different floral parts are arranged in a cyclic manner in a thalamus okay in this thalamus the floral parts you know this part and this part are arranged in a cyclic manner okay and that parts are called floral holes so there are four floral holes okay so one is calyx first hole first hole is calyx second hole is corolla third hole androecium third hole is androecium fourth hole is gynoecium it is a first hole and the first hole is called calyx and individual member is called sepal okay and next hole is your corolla which is the second hole and individual member is called petals ye hai petal this is petal okay and the third hole is your androecium hole third hole is androecium hole which the individual member is stamen individual member is stamen and each stamen consist of anther and filament okay and this third hole is the male part of flower and this third hole is called androecium hole and individual member is stamen and each stamen consist of anther and filament next come to fourth hole fourth hole is the gynoecium part fourth hole is the gynoecium part which is the female part of flower it consist of stigma style and ovary so this is the last hole and also fourth hole so this fourth hole consist of three parts first is stigma style and ovary okay so if the flower contains two sexes that means if the flowers have both androecium and gynoecium part then that flower is called then that flower is called bisexual flower or hermaphrodite flower
और मोनोक्लिनस फ्लावर ओके सो इफ द फ्लावर कंटेन्स ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ सेक्स ओके आइदर एंड्रोइसियम और गाइनोइसियम देन दैट फ्लावर इज कॉल्ड आइदर एंड्रोइसियम और गाइनोइसियम then that type of flower is called unisexual flower that type of flower is called unisexual flower or diclinous flower bisexual flower is called monoclinous flower and unisexual flower is called diclinous flower okay so if if the flower contains only androecium part without gynoecium part then that flower is called staminate flower okay. in the unisexual flower it is of two types if the flower contains only male part that is androecium part and without female part or gynoecium part then that is called staminate flower and if the flower consists of only gynoecium part not androecium part then that flower is called pistillate flower okay so these two words comes from the individual member of androecium each stamen that's why this flower is called staminate flower the individual member of gynoecium is the pistil so this flower is called pistillate flower okay so let's discuss about the first role which is calyx and symbolically it is represented as the letter k okay so as we have already discussed that its individual member is called sepal it is the sepal one one structure is called sepal if the group of sepal is called calyx which is a first role okay then sepals the flower may be polysepals or may be gamosepalous polysepalous means if the sepals are free from each other is like this if the sepals are free from each other then it is called polysepalous flower if the sepals are fused together then it is called gamosepalous flower okay so its main function major role in the flower that it encloses and protects the whole floral structure in the bud stage when flower is at the bud stage so at the bud stage you know this like a bud stage of a flower okay so this part is your calyx part which protects and encloses the whole floral parts at the time of bud stage okay so sepals are green in color you know that this part is a flower is green in color so this part also contains some chlorophyll pigment and in to some extent it helps in the photosynthesis process of plant so next come to the second hole which is the corolla hole and which the individual member is called petta this is the second hole of the flower and these are the petals and group of petals consist of a hole which is second hole and that is called corolla okay so as we know polysepalous sets as like this polypetalous if the petals are separated from each other then this condition of flower is called polypetalous flower if the petals are fused together either it is partly or it is completely then it is called gamopetalous flower so okay then the petals are if the petals are completely fused then it forms a tube like structure okay, if the petals are completely fused then forms a tube like structure and it is called corolla tube okay then if the petals and sepals if the petals and sepals petals are the second hole and sepals are the first hole if the petals and sepals are fused and they are undifferentiated from each other then that membrane that is forms a structure that structure is called perianth structure okay which single unit is called tepals okay the perianth member single unit is called tepals if the petals are green in color then we call it is sepalous tepals if the petals if the tepals or if the perianth membrane are 
color in nature or color of petal then we call it petal or stepals okay so this is the second hole of flower which is the corolla hole and individual member is petals so let's discuss about the third hole which is the androecium and it is symbolically represented as the letter a okay and the individual member of androecium hole is called stamen and the stamen consists of anther this is the anther part and it is the filament part as you know as you see in the picture that anther it is there are two anther lobes normally a flower has two anther lobes and these two anther lobes are connected by a sterile projection then it is called connective okay these two anther lobes are connected by a sterile projection and that projection is called connective okay by which two anther lobes are connected with each other this is called connective and the anther lobes in a flower we can see two types of anther okay one is monothecous anther and another one is dithecous anther okay if the anther lobe is one in number then that anther is called monothecous anther and that one anther lobe contains two micro sporangia microsporangia means microsporangia means is the pollen sac here microsporangia means is the pollen sac pollen sac produces and stores pollen grain and that pollen grain produce male gametophyte okay so microsporangia means pollen sac so in a monothecous anther the anther lobe is one in number and contains two microsporangia or two pollen sacs okay in a dithecous anther it is a dithecous anther and here two anther lobes are present and containing four pollen sacs or four microsporangia and these pollen sacs produces and stores pollen grain the pollen grain produces male gametophyte so it is about your third hole of flower which is the androecium part so this is the structure of ts of anther or transverse section of anther so it is the structure of stamen which is the individual member of third hole of androecium part or main part of flower so this anther it is the anther and it contains two lobes it contains two anther lobes and here is the zoom section of anther lobes these are two anther lobe it is one anther lobe and it is another anther lobe and this is sterile projection and it is called connective okay so the outermost layer of anther is called epidermis the outermost layer of anther is called epidermis and the middle layer or just immediate layer just after layer of epidermis is the endothecium layer it is present just below the epidermis layer and it is called endothecium layer and it has some fibrous thickening this endothecium layer that gives some fibrous thickening to the anther okay which helps avoiding from bursting of anther which helps from avoiding the bursting of anther so that the internal part of anther can be protected okay then the just immediate layer of the pollen sac or the innermost layer of anther is the tapetum layer is the tapetum layer here these are the pollen sacs okay you can see the round bodies in the anther lobe one lobe contains two pollen sac and two anther lobe contains four pollen sac or four microsporangia okay so the tapetum layer is the innermost layer of anther and it has major functions are it provides nourishment to the it provides nourishment developing mother cell developing microsperm mother cell as well as microsporophyll or male gametophyte okay next it produces callase enzyme it produces callase enzyme 
which separated the pollen tetrad due to presence of this challenge enzyme these four pollen sacs these four microsporangium keep separated from each other next it secretes some ubisk body it secretes ubisk body which helps in formation of exine layer this ubisk body helps in formation of exine layer and exine layer is a part of your pollen sac next class we will discuss it is the part of your pollen pollen grain sorry it is a part of the outer layer of pollen grain and this exine layer is formed by the ubisk body which is secreted by the petal layer next it secretes pollen kit which is the main function and major function of tapetum layer it secretes pollen kit pollen kit is the outer extra layer of pollen grain and this pollen grain is the insect pollinated pollen grain if pollination occurs by insect in case of insect pollinated pollen grain there is an outer extra layer is produced and this extra layer is the pollen kit and this pollen kit layer is produced by tapetum layer it gives the extra protection to the pollen grain okay next it also in secretes some proteins which helps to recognize the compatibility of pollen grain by the stigma okay so this is all about your anther and the main function of tapetum layer so next class we will discuss about the gynoecium part or fourth hole of flower if there is any doubt then comment on your comment box i will clear a doubt on the next class thank you